Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you guys how I create my yeast starters. I use a website um, called Homebrew Dads uh, online, brewunited.com. I'll put it in the description. Um, pretty easy uh, to, to figure out how much dry malt extract you need to add to your yeast starter. And also you can overbuild your yeast starter to, to harvest yeast directly from your starter, which I've never done before. I've always harvested from slurry when I did harvest yeast, uh, but I found out there's a way you can harvest directly from your starter, which is awesome because there's no hops in it. It's the cleanest starter you can possibly, it's the cleanest yeast harvest you can possibly have. Um, I'll make a video of that when I do it. I've yet to do it, so I'll let you guys uh, see that when it's made. Now, if you've never done a yeast starter before, I just wanted to pull up pictures. Uh, it's typically done in a flask. Uh, can be on a stir plate, doesn't have to be on a stir plate, but the stir plate uh, stirs up the yeast in the wort, creating a good surface area uh, from the, the yeast in the wort to uh, interact with each other to where the yeast can eat the, the wort and create more yeast, if that made any sense. So I want to show you this website and how simple it is. I've already input my gravity here of what my beer is going to be. It's, it's going to be a nice IPA at about 6.5%. Uh, brewing about 5.75 gallons. Brewing an ale, but there's choices on here for lagers or hybrids and different types of beer, uh, such as an ale or a lager or a hybrid has different amounts of yeast recommended uh, per milliliter. So I'm going to overbuild this one. Uh, by 100 billion so I can harvest 100 billion cells right out of the yeast starter and it's telling me I need 367 billion cells of yeast. Now I have a Y yeast uh, yeast pack uh, American ale um, that's 100 billion cells it was made on 12 22 of 2016 so I put that date in there and that resulted in their calculation of 63 percent viability so I'll go ahead and go with their estimation of how good my yeast is I have a two liter flask that I, I make my yeast starter with. Um, you have a choice of usually 1.030 to 1.040 gravity uh, when you make your yeast starters. Um, I'm going to go on the higher end on this one because say if I go to the lower end, this, this uh, website is telling me that I need two steps and I don't want to mess with two steps. Um, maybe I'll do another video showing how to step up a yeast starter, but don't really want to get into that right now. It's just more than I need to do. So I'm going to make it a higher gravity to just do one step. Uh, the it's the range is 1.030 to 1.040, like I said. So I'll just go to the higher range on this one. Uh, I'll do two liters of the dry malt extract to make this yeast. Um, and it tells you how many grams of dry malt extract you need for this specific gravity. So I need 218 grams of dry malt extract. Um, to create 368 billion cells of yeast. And what does it say I need? 367. So I have the exact amount, if not 1 billion cells more, uh, to make this beer and to harvest 100 billion cells for another beer I can make down the road. So th this is really easy, and you can go to these little question marks, and it'll give you a nice description of everything um, as you're filling out the data. And this is the easiest uh, yeast calculator I've found online yet. Again, I'll put that in the description and uh, you can play with it. Um, if you guys have any questions, just comment below, like, and subscribe. Thank you.